Hey folks, NX16 is here, and we wanted to do a recap of all of the enhancements we've come out with for the NX graph recently. So to start, let's just run our graph command here inside of this workspace. So I'll run NX graph. That'll open up a browser window here with our interactive NX graph. So we can show all of our projects here, and that'll show us our graph of all of the projects and how they interconnect. And we can filter projects in and out here in the side panel. We can also switch it up so instead of projects, we actually are graphing the tasks and how the tasks depend on each other. Here we'll have to provide a target name, but now we can show all tasks with that build target name. But what if, for example, I'm only interested in this world server build? Well, I can highlight this and that will show me all of the tasks that this project shares an edge with, but it doesn't go further than one step. So let's come back to our IDE and we'll figure out some other ways to focus the specific task. The first one is jumping into the project JSON file. Here's the project JSON file for that world server we were looking at earlier. We'll actually see if we have the NX console plugin installed. We'll have this button right here to show the NX task graph for the specific task. So by clicking it, this will open up an NX graph here inside of my IDE. And we can see that this is filtered down to all of the tasks that this task depends on, even those that are multiple steps away. If, however, I don't have the NX console installed or I'm using some crazy IDE like NeoVim or something like that, I can also also open up a terminal and here inside the terminal we'll just type out the command as we would run it via the CLI so this would be nx build world server and then instead of hitting enter here I can also add the dash dash graph option to this command and when I hit enter this time it's going to open up a browser again but this time the browser is already in task mode and it's already filtered and focused the world server build. So this graph option we can actually use with almost any of our NX commands so we can visualize the task graph and the dependencies of that task in the context of our workspace. So some really cool enhancements here to the NX graph, particularly in the realm of the task graph and with this new dash dash graph option. Hope this was a helpful video. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or any thoughts on how to make this any better. Until next time, keep working hard, y'all, and we'll see you later.